What's up, YouTube? Been a minute, been a minute. Hey, boy, chilling at the house. Ain't too much moving in the car all in the world. But yeah, for people who ain't see that post I put up, yeah, my YouTube channel was acting crazy. Yeah, um, demonetize all my uh, videos. And basically wasn't paying me for like the last month or so. So, I didn't want to keep putting on no videos and want to get paid for until I fix the situation. So that's how that went. <laughs> like, I ain't asking for y'all for giving me no money with YouTube. You're going to have to pay me, you feel me? So yeah, what I've been up to, boy, close the authority now. So basically, when I, um, I had to renew, it came time to renew my insurance. Because my first year was up. And I saw what they was, the rates they was offering me. And it really didn't change from the first year. And like I said, y'all knew I was, for people who didn't know, I was paying a lot of money on the first year insurance. And so, my whole, I was doing it with an intent on it going down for the second year. So when the second, when, when it was time to renew, I saw that it wasn't too much different. So, I had to make an executive decision. You know what I'm saying? All business, not personal. You know what I'm saying? Don't have your feelings involved. Just had to say, I ain't about to renew it. Because you got to think about, you know how long this pandemic stuff about to go on. And like I said, the pandemic, like cars is like one of the main things that's really, really getting hit right now due to the uh, the pandemic. So it ain't, it just wouldn't have made financial sense to even keep the authority open while we going through this pandemic and the race is terrible. Like, it just would have been stupid. So, it just wouldn't have been worth it. So, like I said, I just, I said, I shut it down for right now and I revisit it in like another year or so, see how the economy doing. But for right now, it ain't make sense. So, right now, I'm still in the, uh, still in the Western Star. Driving that for right now. Just trying to think of the plan on my next move for what I'm going to do with the uh, free shaker. I'm not selling it. I'm trying to figure out what commodity I'm going to haul with it. Cause running that seven car, it ain't, it ain't really, it wasn't making sense. Being on, being on the uh, low boards with the seven car, it ain't make sense. Like it was lows, but then here and there it wasn't lows. Like it was too too finicky. Like if you got your own customers that's that's buying cars that you could. That's hitting you up, then that's something different. But just working on the low bull with the seven car, it ain't really make sense. It wasn't really worth it. So I sold the seven car. I sold the uh, car hauler. I just got the uh, the truck. Truck ain't going nowhere. That's my baby. But because I got that set up with the tensions of hauling cars, I'm trying to figure out what's the next thing I'm going to do using that truck, basically. So that's what I've been thinking about. I'm uh, looking at a few things, considering hazmat, I don't really know. If I did it, it wouldn't be for long term, just for the short term. But considering that, just weighing on my options. Because I like the whole high, high price commodities. I don't no knock to reefer and van. They the most consistent, but it just ain't nothing I'm trying to haul. So yeah, that's all I've been doing, just at the crib thinking, brainstorming, figure out what my next step will be. That's about it, man. I ain't gonna lie, this like, like car hauling. On the low boards and stuff, it's good to have a 10 car until it's not good to have a 10 car. Because the thing is, like right now with this going on, car haulers is getting hit hard. Like, one thing I can say is going to be a, it's like, it's, it's a lot of people just been going out of business because of this pandemic. A lot of owner operators. Like, shit real out here. Like, now is not the time to be open to no authority unless you got your own customers. I advise you not to jump out there right now. Shit's scary. It's just spooky out here. <laughs>
But yeah, just guys, it's like the time for the hustlers though, for real, for real. Gotta have different ways of making money and just know how to get it. So, like trucking ain't trucking ain't really, well, nothing ain't really moving right now, honestly. But yeah, just gotta survive these times. Cause I can tell you one thing. When this shit over with, everything gonna be flying off the shelf. Everything. So, just gotta wait around, wait the uh, wait out the storm. But yeah, so I'm gonna holler at y'all next video, man.